This is an earwig. Earwigs are notorious pests having a bad name to themselves, but also a fascinatingly complex wing structure. They have 20 or so different fold lines along their wingspan that fold up to be 10 times smaller than when they're outstretched. And these wings are said to break the laws of origami. The wings are able to lock into place without direct muscle activation and do not fold into the body like paper does, but as if possessing spring-like folds. Imagine slapsticks. Now, why am I gushing over this? It's because the wings mechanisms can help create mimics in the future, and that can have potential applications in creating quick assembly tents, portable solar panels, and even compact electronics. This becomes so much more important when we think about how significant space has become to our world. We have been taking inspiration from nature since ages for both our artistic as well as technological choices. But for a warming earth, what we need isn't blind imitation of natural structures or processes, but conscious design choices that are efficient and sustainable in working. We are all familiar with beehives. The hexagonal structure is used by bees to provide structural soundness and compactness while making use of space when building their colony. And in India, where temperature is on the rise day by day, efficient and sustainable cooling systems are still lacking. To combat this, the natural cooling properties of Earth can be made use of. Designers have already created many such installations in real life. Take for example the Cool and Design Studio. Terracotta cones are stacked over each other in an hexagonal arrangement and water is poured on top of it. The cones are hollow and draw in warm air, which is cooled by the water evaporating. And the water can be reused by circulating it back to the top. Terracotta pots have been a staple household utensil since ages and we have been using it for its natural cooling property. So by bringing such natural materials into mainstream consideration when thinking about building affordable infrastructures that are also self-cooling can prove to be useful. There's also another example of biomimicry that's incredibly fascinating. It's the termite-inspired climate control system in the East Gate building in Harare, Zimbabwe. The chief architect, Mick Pierce, took inspiration from termites when planning this building. Termite mounds might seem like this tall and dense structure, but are in fact composed of tiny holes that let air in through, improving the air circulation, keeping the entire structure cool. So application of smaller windows and better distribution of air keeps the internal temperature of the building to a comfortable 25 degrees Celsius without any running air conditioning, all by taking inspiration from termites. So imagine what other innovations we can make if we look just a bit more closer into nature. The world population crossed 8 billion, and all these people require resources. The increased stress on land and social necessities further give impetus to a failed social system. The toxic gases and carbon emission changes the chemistry of the atmosphere, transforming the Earth into a planet uninhabitable. The frequency of natural disasters are increasing, and so is human displacement. If you think about it, we already have the solutions. Our scientists and researchers have given us the solutions as well as the causes and the consequences. So, how about we switch up the way we think about this? The world doesn't need more buildings or skyscrapers, it needs to breathe. And by adopting biophilic designs and sustainable choice of actions, along with decarbonizing the existing and the future infrastructures, can prove to be of utmost importance. Humanity's clock is ticking and ticking fast. In the words of UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, we are standing on thin ice and that ice is melting fast and we need to do something about it. Thank you.